The third main reason why your application can get rejected is because of insufficient funds. This is the most common reason why an application gets rejected for uh, Germany. Now you need to make sure that your uh, savings account or your FD or your blocked account is having right amount of funds. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Gurpreet in Germany and today we are going to talk about main reasons why your job seeker visa application can get rejected for Germany. I see so many people making basic mistakes when it comes to the visa application process and these mistakes can be easily avoided. So let's discuss about these common mistakes and so that you make sure that you have a great file when you're applying for the job seeker visa for Germany. So let's get started. So the first main reason why your application can get rejected for job seeker for Germany is incomplete application form. Now this is such a simple thing, right? Like you do know you are that you have an application form and you have to write everything in the application form and submit it. But also you have to make sure that each and every information that you've mentioned in the application form is correct. So uh, this is the main reason why your application can get rejected if you do not have right information in your application form. Now uh, I have shared uh, in, in the link below where you can find the right application form and how do you uh, update each and every section. So uh, you have to make sure that every section of the application form has correct information and is filled properly. If you want to know what all you need to mention there, then there is a detailed video that I have created of job seeker visa application which has step to step guide and that can help you fill the application form in a right manner. So that's the first reason why your visa can get rejected. Now the second main reason why your application can get rejected is because of incorrect travel or medical uh, health insurance. Now when it comes to Germany, Germany is very particular about health insurance. So you have to make sure you have purchased the right travel and medical health insurance. They have also mentioned on their website what are the different minimum requirements that needs to be fulfilled by each of these insurance providers and in case if those uh, requirements are not fulfilled then your application can get rejected and not only that they have also mentioned the list of the insurance provider the approved list so you can make sure that you provide you buy the health insurance only from these health insurance providers and not any health insurance provider now if you want to know which are the right health insurance providers that you can use uh, for travel or health insurance in Germany then you can see this another quick video that I have created which will give you an idea of where to go and look for this information. So the third main reason why your application can get rejected is because of insufficient funds. This is the most common reason why an application gets rejected for uh, Germany. Now you need to make sure that your uh, savings account or your FD or your blocked account is having right amount of funds or even more funds but having less funds will uh, result in rejection of your application. Now you have to basically calculate uh, how much funds do you need and this is dependent on two factors. One is where are you going to stay and second is uh, how do you uh, how are you going to manage your expenses in Germany and then uh, the expenses can be calculated on top of your stay cost so for example if your stay cost is around 600 euros per month and then your uh, monthly cost uh, living expenses is around 400 euro then it comes to total 1000 euros so you have to show that for six months you have 1000 euros which is like 6000 euros which comes around say uh, close close to 6.5 or 7 lakhs and you have to show that you have this much amount in your savings account so that your application is not rejected. So please make sure that uh, you have enough funds in your account and also uh, it doesn't mean that if your visa application date is next week and you're transferring fund one week before. No, at least three to four months you should uh, start saving in that account and that account information you should give to the visa uh, uh, officer. So it's very important that you uh, show good amount in your funds whenever you are applying for a visa for Germany. And the last reason that we are going to discuss today is uh, your letter of motivation. So another reason why your application can get rejected is because the purpose of 
going to Germany is not clear. Now, where do you mention this purpose of going to Germany is in your letter of motivation, which is LOM. So if your letter of motivation does not have a clear purpose, why do you want to go to Germany? And what is the main reason you have chosen Germany and not any other country that has to be clearly called out? And not only that, I would also suggest that in your letter of motivation, you also mention your course of action. If you're planning to stay in Germany for six months, then what are the different steps you are going to follow to find a job for yourself? So you have to clearly and very concisely mention each and every step that you would follow once you come to Germany. Also mention the list of the companies where you see there is a job available and also different websites where you see open jobs available. So letter of motivation plays a major role in your visa application process and you need to make sure you have a correct letter of motivation uh, with the right information. So that is another reason why your visa can get rejected. In case if you want to know the right template of letter of motivation, you can contact me and uh, uh, we, I can help you create or draft a ri right letter for you according to your skills and your application process. So uh, to summarize, these are the four different reasons why your application can get rejected. The first one is that your application form is incorrect. The second one is you have purchased incorrect travel or health insurance. The third one is that you do not have sufficient funds in your savings account. And the fourth one is that your letter of motivation is incorrect or your purpose of travel to Germany is not very clear in your application process. I hope you avoid these steps and you get the visa for Germany soon. And in case if you want to know the step by step process that you need to follow, I've created a detailed video on the job application process uh, for job seeker visa you can uh, go ahead and watch that video and in case if you want to book my one-to-one -one consultation you can do that as well there's a link in the description i am gurpreet i work as a lead hr in germany and i wish you very all the best and thank you so much please subscribe to my channel if you find my information useful thank you bye